Hello there dear YouTube friends. In this video, I will teach you guys on what exactly frames are. So basically frames are the one of the most important and the most, how would you say, the most powerful tool and the powerful uh, feature that you'll be able to use uh, throughout the entire process of uh, learning uh, UI UX designing in Figma, specifically Figma. Okay. So let me just give you a, a quick yet a really brief uh, how do you say description and brief uh, introduction to what actually frames are so basically frames are uh, how do you say more like a tool or a feature that's inside figma that allows access gives us access to extra functionality in figma so those functional extra functionalities that i would like to uh, highlight in this case which is which will be most important will be in figma would be layout grids transparent grids columns and rows and of course you can also use groups by the way but groups is something that has lesser feature gives us lesser access access to lesser feature compared to uh, frames in this case so let's get started uh, by actually utilizing one of the tools exactly i mean to be specific this particular frame tool in figma so let's get started okay guys so here we are we are currently in a uh, basically a new uh, canvas a new figma canvas which we had just created by clicking on create new file uh, uh, button inside figma so basically this is the, the very first uh, part of this particular uh, course so you'll you'll be able to find the particular tool called uh, frames as and it's always be located at the top here and let me just uh, go here this is the place where you'll be able to find this particular frames tool here so all you have to do is just just click on frames just need to, you, don't, you don't need to like option this thing just need to just click on this so what does frame exactly is basically frame is actually more like a, it's like basically it's like a shape tool by the way for example you can literally just create a shape like this and boom there's something has been existed here so frames is basically the is, is what it's going to usually uh, ui ux designers use it as a background as a background for your mobile app and your desktop app it's like the most um, i think this is the mostly used tool the most renowned and the most common uh, tool used to to be the background of your of your yeah your mobile or your desktop ui so for example this is the first uh, frame I mean first this is the first step of every single uh, designing uh, journey we should create a background so that's what that's the whole thing is and also let me also explain to you why do we use frames and why is it better so frames is basically uh, allows us to create like a, a perfect sol resolution for either mobile or desktop for example let me just delete this particular uh, frame which we just created here so I'm just going to delete it so first of all, I'm just going to go back and just by clicking on this particular frame again, just clicking it and not doing anything else. So by just by clicking it, I'll be going to this particular side of Figma, which is on the right hand side and the most top corner here. And what I'll be doing here, I'll, I'll be like, I would like to choose what kind of uh, resolution I, I would like to have. For example, iPhone 13, which is the most common uh, uh, mobile resolution. So this is what I'll be going to choose uh, if I were to chart, if I were to start uh, design uh, designing for mobile app UI so just need to click on it something like this and boom see what do you have here this is exactly what we needed to, to just get started with to for your mobile app UI uh, designing so this is the most I would I mean as I said just now this is the most uh, most commonly used by almost every designers I mean almost every single UI UX designers when they were to start uh, designing a mobile app because this is the most uh, the easiest and the most complete i mean how do you say like convenient way yeah that's the word so this is the first step of every single designing process which is to create a background and right now what we have just did here we just created a mobile app so what if we would like to have a desktop app yeah i mean desktop uh, version of this particular uh, app ui i mean ui ux right so the same thing first we need to go to frames again and just by click go to going to this particular frames tool here again and go to your most right hand side of your project and need to go just go go down here and there you go you not you don't literally have to you have only phone here 
You have also have other options like desktop, tablet, presentation, watch, paper, and etc. So, for example, the most second most common uh, app, I mean, desktop UI will be is for this particular desktop here. So, as you can see here, we have desktop. This is the most common way to uh, like the most common resolution. And also, we have Pro, MacBook Pro, and MacBook Pro 16 inch, 14. Inch. So, we can choose any one of these basically. So, I'm just going to choose uh, the first one here. So, MacBook Pro, and this is going to be look like this. And boom, this is the mobile. This is the uh, how do you say it? this is the desktop version of your UI. And this is you will be able to find this to be responsive to all. If you were to like compare it into a rest into a laptop and you'll be able to fill make it to the uh, i mean it will be uh filling the whole space in your lap in your, inside your desktop uh, uh resolution yeah same goes to mobile app here it will always uh, fill the whole space of the mobile app uh ui so that's the whole uh, basic idea of frames here so there's one more thing that i would like to uh, share with you guys for Let's say if you were to if you were not to choose any of these uh, frames here, for example, if you just just like do like this, and it it may not uh, exactly look the same because this might not be able to fill the whole space of a mobile of a desktop uh, screen. So for example, uh, so that's the basic idea. So you get you basically you'll be able to understand this part of this uh, tool when you start using it and use it and and you're able to adopt it in your daily. Uh, use cases so let me just delete uh, the, the the not uh, contemporary way to do this which is just to uh, draw the image without uh, without checking resolution so yeah it's a it's always a pra best practice to uh, to choose the how do you say it? to choose the, the design frames the frames would be very helpful to for you to get started with so the next thing i would like to show is the i mean i would say the last step i guess and the reason why we use a uh, uh yeah frames over groups is that frames were able to uh for example let's say you are able to um uh, you are have, i mean let's say you are having uh how do you say some corners here about like about like uh 50 con 50 pixels and what i can do here what i can do here when i just uh, take a shape tool here i can just place it inside here Okay, this is a it is a rectangular sharp edged uh, rectangular shape here. So, what if I would like to have a nav bar? So, in order to just create a nav bar, I can just like make it like this. As you can see here, there's one thing that differs from groups is that in frames you are able to uh, hide the part which is like unnecessary. For example, let me just make it bigger. Is became bigger. Sorry. Okay, as you can see, you can literally just uh, hide the whole space that that's not uh, inside within the frame. So that's why it's called a frame. When I mean, it's anything that's outside of this frame, and which is when you put inside below, when you put below the region of this frame, anything that goes outside of the border of the frame will be hidden. That's the best. Uh, how do you say the best part of uh, frames itself so that's the for example you can literally just you don't need to like follow the entire resolution i mean the entire um, how do you say the corners yeah the, you don't need even need to use this corners here you can literally just like make it uh i mean yeah you don't even need to uh, yeah make another border here so all you need to do is just need to like bring a, a rectangular tool here and this just make it in, just put it inside the frame and as you can see, this is this part of this particular rectangle is hidden because it's it's not within the frame uh, region of visibility. Okay, so I think uh, you I think you probably will be able to understand this particular tool called uh, frames if you were to use it on a, on a daily basis on and you should start working on it more often. And yeah, I think that's it for me, I guess. So uh, thank you guys for watching this entire video just just for this particular frames tool which I've just explained here. So frames is uh, is indeed. Uh, hands down the most important tool and the most powerful tool because it is better better than the uh, other comparison and other other party which is the groups here i mean you, you will not find groups here because uh yeah you won't be finding groups here as well okay so 
Okay. Again, thank you guys for watching this entire video. Yeah, I hope we'll be meeting in our in the next uh, upcoming I mean, subsequent, subsequent videos about uh, other Figma tools and tips that I would like to share with you guys and how to improve your UI UX uh, designing uh, skill just by just within just by uh, how do you say exploiting and all the tools that are already there within frame uh, within Figma alone. So thank you guys for watching again the entire video till the end and hope we'll be meeting in our next subsequent upcoming videos uh, about Figma as well. So until then, peace guys. Bye.